Alright everyone, welcome back. This is Tech with our continuing Let's Play for Crusader Kings 2, if I could spit that out. Um, as you remember when we last left off, <laughs> it was actually suggested to me that I should have made it a cliffhanger into this episode, but we had just pulled off a successful assassination of the King of Hungary, um, which was needed because they had a false claim against us, which eventually was going to prompt him to invade. He was only 21 years old, so we had to do something, so I took a desperation move and lucked out. As you can see now, his daughter's in control here, because uh, I guess he didn't have a son heir, so, and she uh, is in the green with us and doesn't have any claims against us, so all's good. So, one of the first things we need to do before I before anything dumb happens, <laughs> is we need to stop our uh, our uh, guys up here. Let's see, we need to stop our Chancellor from sowing dissent, and we need to stop our Spy Master from building a spy network for now. And I'm actually going to put him, our Spy Master, back here to uncover plots, possibly. And the Chancellor... Um... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. I'll wait a second and see. Um, yeah, well, um, one thing I want to touch on real quick at the beginning of this video is I want to thank everybody for all the positive comments and, and everything on the, la on the previous videos. It's really appreciated. I do read all the comments. I know I don't necessarily get to answer all of them, but rest assured I do read all of them and it's really appreciated. Um, everybody's saying, you know, that they're enjoying it. Um, you know, I do try to get a little goofy and just say whatever, you know, stupid nonsense comes to mind and <laughs> just try to keep it a little more entertaining because I know sometimes on Let's Plays that people do of these types of games, it can almost put you to sleep. And so... Anyway, that's kind of where some of that comes from. And it has been a pretty exciting game so far. I mean, you could you could almost write a short story about some of the shenanigans that's been going on in this game. It's ridiculous. Um, one thing that's interesting that I did want to share, if some of you haven't discovered it yet, is if you go on your character screen, there's this little I button here for a Wiki, uh, Wikipedia link. And it's pretty interesting. You can actually follow the Wikipedia link to my character. And um, he's a pretty interesting guy. Um, you know, he ruled for, I believe it was 14 years. Um, and it was pretty interesting. Um, I, the, the one thing that <laughs> I read and I was like, well, I think I'm dropping the ball, is that he actually took over as King of Croatia, I believe, in 1076, which right now we're in July of 1075. So <laughs> here in about uh, six months or so, well, give or take a few, I don't know exactly what month he took over, but I should be king, and I think I'm a little behind schedule right now. However, the one thing that some of you, I think, who've been watching this entire se series would find really humorous is that my wife here, um, I believe she was actually uh, called by Helen, and, and her Wikipedia link works as well. If you're curious, you can go check her out. Um, but the real funny thing is, is I guess she was you know, a real good wife, that they were married during the entire reign as him being king. She died like two years after him. But the thing that, I, that just made me kind of bust out laughing when I was reading it because of what's happened on our video is she was actually, uh, I guess she was well liked by the Croatian people and was actually referred to as Helen the Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I kid you not. So I don't know how we got the gluttonous and slothful. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. So anyway, I thought that some of you who have been watching the whole series would find that a little humorous. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now, if you remember earlier, um, I have the capability to create a title and would it enable me to press a du jour claim to Asora. And I think when I was kind of sitting back thinking about it, I think that's probably the next move. Um, I know one thing that like somebody suggested is I should be going down into uh, Dukjula or however you pronounce it down here, these guys, um, which I do intend to do. Dang, they're retarded up in this country, aren't they? Everything's at, zero. Everything's at zero. What the heck's going on over there? Um, but it, that's probably will be my target. That'd probably be like my first target once I take this over. I mean, I don't know what all's going to happen here with the big Byzantine Empire deal. I mean, they should start breaking up before long, I would believe. 
Um, and then the hungry thing, I adverted it for now, but who knows when that's going to come back or not. So uh, I think I'm, we're going to press for Asora, and if I can take Asora and keep these guys on my side, eventually maybe press to the king. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I would just ransack and take over the, the king's position, um, but we'll, fi we'll figure that out. And if anybody wants to leave me some suggestions, feel free. I, I do uh, especially listen to all the suggestions that a couple of you are giving me that are really great. Um, I have never claimed to be an expert at this game, so I'll take whatever suggestions you guys give. I know just enough to be dangerous. So anyway, let's go ahead and let it run for a second. Um, my money is coming along pretty good. We'll create this title, but then I think I'm going to have to... Let's pause it real quick again. I think I'm going to have to... Let's see. I'll gain 200 prestige. And if you read this here, what it says is if I have half of this, I can try to claim, you know, do a du jour claim. And I do have Rama. The other half is Asura. And if I create this claim... I get 200 prestige and 194. Uh, it cost me 194 gold, which is going to be most of my money. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, and now I have that. Um, I don't want to make that my primary title. I like the Slavonia, uh, Slav Slavonia title better. I don't know if it's Slavonia or Slavonia, but um, I'm the Duke of Bosnia now. So what I'm going to do is now I will be able to. Um, declare war on him for a Ducal claim. So we will be doing that here soon. As long as uh, the king likes me more than him. The king is a 26 on me and a 20 on on him. So we're good on that. And I know both of these guys will like me more. Um, they'll probably even ally with me if I had to guess. What's He's 26... And 26. So everybody, they all have 26 of me, and then probably like 20 or less of, of the other guys. So we're in good shape there. So let's go ahead and kick this on. We need to build up a little bit of money, because before I declare war, I want to have more than, I want to have at least, say, 70, I would say. If I get around 70, I think we're in good shape. I believe when I declare war on him, too, I think I lose 50 prestige, but I just got 200, so <laughs> no biggie. Uh, we're fine on that. Um, yes, I know. I can press a do call claim. Thank you. And that is our plan. And I figure once we, if we can kind of get this little brick of five right here, then we're sitting in the domination seat because we basically have five of the ten. And these two guys would go along with me if I can somehow press. Uh, this guy would definitely go along because he hates the king. Um, if I can figure out how to do that. Um, well, looks like Hungary's m mobilizing. Who are they? Yeah, they're fighting against. That's yeah, no big deal. As long as it doesn't involve us. I just I need nothing stupid to happen to us. I need our king not to do anything stupid, like declare war against a Byzantine Empire or some stupid nonsense. Okay, so we're up to 50. So we're looking pretty good. Um, was there anything else I needed to? I think we're in pretty good shape on most stuff right now. My son's only two, so I don't need to worry about the education stuff. I think our, let's see, all our vassals are still in the green. All our court is good. We got a couple chicks. Our girlfriend, <laughs> our girlfriend Nada, is the, uh, <laughs> the one who hates me most. I would have it no other way. Um... All right, so let's just let this go. If I can get it up to about 70, then we're going to kick it, kick the tires on it and get going. We should be able to turn it over pretty quick, I would imagine. I mean, I'm probably going to have somewhere around... I'm going to have somewhere around 900 troops, and he's going to have somewhere around maybe 300. I mean, it should it should be no contest as long as everybody else minds their business. You know, I may kick this off here just once we get to 60. I, I want it to happen as fast as possible so something else stupid doesn't happen. So let's... I'm going to let it tip one more month here. Or actually, when does it tick? Does it tick mid-month? We've never paid attention to it before because the first just passed and it didn't... Oh, it, well, it spans out over the course of the month, okay. Because I'm getting almost four and a quarter. So... 
All right, so there, boom, 61. All right, so we're going to go ahead and declare war on this guy. All right. Let's do this. Raise, raise. I get them over there. We'll kind of launch everybody into there. And let's unpause. He's got 232. Let's speed this up just so we can get our troops there quicker. Okay, boom, pause it again. Let's put all these together. So yeah, we got 914. Well, 251 looks like he pulled up some others. Nobody else is pulling their troops up. We can call in allies. Veglia and Prince. Oh, okay. Yeah, both of these guys are saying they'll join, they'll help me. Uh, they'll help me be a bastard and take <laughs> take over more of the country. That's all right. I don't need your help. Thanks anyway. All right. Now he may double across, so I may have to split some off. Well, not if I bang him down here. That's good. I can knock him down far enough to where. Oh, hey, we had a daughter born. Oh, that's right, that was our uh, ambition, wasn't it? So we should be good on that. Um, fulfilled ambition. Pause it a second. Mm. You know, I don't think any of these are gonna happen right this minute. I'm not gonna get to 500 before he dies. Well, I might. Three sixteen right now. Recent has the opinion recently lowered crown authority. Uh, let's just do the wealth one for now. Victory. There we go. I love the smell of burning walls in February of ten seventy six. Vassal levies raise too long. Y'all better leave me alone. Did you see I'm trying to take over here? Alright, let's see how it's going. This should be pretty good since we were able to jump in quick enough and, you know, get his troops out, you know. Sometimes in situations like that, you'll pass them in the night and then you gotta chase them down if they have more than what your, what the defenders are. Uh, hey, our bow knowledge went up. Generally, for people that don't know that, and I think somebody else mentioned that in one of my previous videos where it was kind of a a little goofy thing I did, is that in order for an army to attack a, a, um, a county, a fort, or whatever, they have to have more total number of troops. There has to be more attackers than there are defenders. If there's more defenders, then they, they'll just stand there and they're not going to do anything. So that's one little minor tip. So if you see some guys running around with like 50 dudes, you don't need to bother chasing them down. They're not going to do anything. So you can just let them go and, you know, knock yourselves out. All right. We are cranking along pretty good. We almost got the capital. When we get the capital down, we bang through these two, and it's score. So we're doing pretty good. No other nonsense has popped up, thankfully. And I think we'll really be in a really good position once we turn this. I think we'll be sitting really good at that point. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to make the goal of the real life <laughs> of, of who I'm playing. I'm not going to be king as fast as he was. but Maybe I'll live past 1089, because that's when he died. We'll see if I survive longer. I guess supposedly in real life he was uh, wasn't really didn't even have any wars during his reign either. During the 14 years he was pretty much in peace at peace and was a uh, kind of pushed forward uh, economic and cultural advances. Okay, so it looks like he's ready. Now see this. 
Hmm. I don't think I want this. And somebody can comment on this in the, in the video comments, depending on how this turns out. And this is just something for other people to know too, is what he's saying is he wants to surrender and just be my liege and continue to hold that county. Um, I don't want that. <laughs> I want the county myself. So I'm going to decline this, actually. Again, I could be making a mistake there, and maybe I don't have any other choice in the matter, because I think I ran into this situation once before. But see, I'm not done. I haven't taken everything yet, so... Mm -hmm. Somebody is trying to get a claim again. Who is it? Auto of... Oh, this guy right here. <laughs> He's going ahead with it. They never don't go ahead with it. I've noticed that. The AI, and all the times I've ever seen that, I've never seen once where they didn't. Okay, so now... Well, see, maybe, maybe I was, um... I guess maybe I don't have any choice in the matter in, in, in this situation. Vassal inheritance warning. See, that's something I don't even understand right there in that situation. I mean, I, I, I was able to win. Let's pause this. Dismiss. I was able to win, but he it remains in position. I don't, I don't understand that. And see, his heir is the king. So even if I get rid of him, I don't get it. That's, I mean, I don't... Like I said, maybe I'm not, a, I'm not completely clear on that whole situation there. But, I mean, he's under me, so... Um, I mean, I'm not getting any tax out of it or anything like that. But... He does have a good opinion of me. So, I mean, it's positive anyway. So, I mean, I guess technically I am in control, so that's good. So, I mean, it is a win, but it's not like a complete win, so to speak. Not like it was in Rama, for instance. Um, and I don't know if that has something to do with, with it being kinsmen or, you know, I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not clear on that. Um... So anyway, but we did take that over, so that's good. And um, again, if anybody has any feedback on that, they can give it to me. I mean, I, I took it over to have control um, within my realm. And see, so you can look over here and see that, you know, for realm size, he is under my realm, under my control. Um, yet I just am not actually in direct control of that county. So... I guess the next thing to do would be to look towards the king. Um, everything else, construction has increased, that's good. Um, what I want to do, actually, is I could start working on fabricating a claim over here. Um, which I think we'll do for right now. So let's do the, that. Have him start working on that. And we got everybody else already set up. Uh, okay, 
Excellent. Actually, our building project should have already been done by now, so... We could do another one, but my money needs to build back up. We're up to 280 prestige, which is pretty decent. It's not bad. Um, we'll see if there's any actual uh, events we can take advantage of coming up. We could hold a summer fair. Um, which gives us a little prestige bonus. Um... I may wait and do the feast, I think. Uh, seems like that sometimes has better event chances. So, and that's, you can do that in November. So I may just hold off and do, and do that, actually. That looks pretty good. Um, and one thing that was explained to me by someone uh, on my last video, and I appreciate it, is it was explained that in the situation where I was trying to get a vassal, um, someone that was in the court of one of my vassals to come to my court. The reason it wasn't happening was because they will only release them if it's like sort of a step up in nobility type wise. So like if I had a daughter or somebody that was of the higher nobility rank, then they would say yes because it's kind of advancing themselves. But if it's not advancing themselves, there's no reason for the guy to say yes typically unless the, the only time you would uh, maybe get a yes out of that would be is if you just really had super high um, opinion with with the get the lead or something maybe but um so that kind of explained that and I thank you for that I mean it, I guess that that tactic of what you saw me trying to do in the last video that would really come into play heavily if you really need I mean if there was somebody with like a 24 score that you really wanted to get you could offer to marry them to like say one of your daughters if you had two or three spare daughters or something and then you could get them over to be you know whatever whatever chancellor or whatever it is you need so good talk um all right so we're moving along pretty good uh hey you know we're getting a bigger and bigger chunk here so everything is looking good the next thing is setting our sights to the south